everyone, Steph here, Barbell Sanctuary. Today I want to show you how to meal prep. This is the easiest way to meal prep. And for me, I lost 40 pounds last year. This was one of the main components of my weight loss, is having meals ready to go. That way you don't make something quick or whatever. You always have that meal. I, make, I prepare these maybe once every two weeks and I have them in the freezer. I just call them freezer meals. They're ready to go. I enter the calories in my fitness pal so I know exactly how much they are and it's quick, it's a saved meal. They're usually about 650 calories a piece. The first thing I'm going to show you, I buy most of my chicken when it's on sale. It's about to expire, it's going to expire in a day, I buy it and then I freeze it. So when I go to make meals, I just grab it out of the freezer, I cook it and then I refreeze it. So it doesn't matter that it's going to expire. And here I save 285, 285, 285. So about eight dollars that I saved on my chicken. There's no reason to pay full price if you're gonna freeze it anyways. So now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna cook it with. If you're trying to eat healthier, get yourself an Instapot. It's the easiest way to cook a lot of protein at once. Um, I cook it plain, just salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic and then I season it later. I find it's better that way, it's easier to control, and then if I'm making eight of these, I could just use a different seasoning or a different sauce, you know, depending on my mood, so I'm not eating the same one every day. Pretty simple with the Instapot. You have a little rack in there. You can put that at the bottom if you're cooking meat. Now I'm gonna put all this chicken in here. Another thing I want you to notice is the time behind me. I don't know if you can see it, it's 3.06, just to show you so you can see how much time it takes. And it's obviously gonna take me a little bit more time because I'm filming, but it really doesn't take all that long. So the chicken is actually still pretty frozen in the Instapot, doesn't matter. Uh, I believe, depending on the size of your pot, it'll be uh, different cooking instructions. But for mine, it's, um, you just look it up, it comes with a book, it's, for every pound of chicken, you put it in for seven minutes. So I'm gonna put it in for four pounds. So I'm gonna put it in for 28 minutes is what I'm gonna set my time to. I'm just gonna wash my hands and then I'll show you what I do that next. Okay, so I got the Instapot. I'm just gonna put in half a cup of water. I know I said quarter cup, but it's pretty full. It's just so it doesn't burn. And pressure cook. Sorry, 28 minutes. For the rice, I use a rice cooker. You can get these for, I think, 20 bucks at Walmart. We've had ours for, I don't know, 10 years. Still works fine, it's a very simple device. This is just uh, jasmine white rice. And for this, I just wait it cooked. It's easier, I just do a cup, a uh, cup of rice in each meal, and that's a, uh, 200 calories, so two cups of rice, three cups of water. And that's it for the rice. Push this little lever and it'll pop when it's ready. The chicken's just gonna, it's gonna steam and beep when it's ready. So that's it, been a few minutes, it's 3.14 now. Start eight minutes ago, but I've been filming and moving the camera around, so it really doesn't take that long. So now that's all set up. I'm gonna go do some renovations now. We're building a bathroom, so I'm gonna go work on that, and then I'll come back to it. I'll probably end up doing two batches of rice like this, so I'll, I'll have to wash the pot in between, but it, it's really easy. And like, I didn't even put, I didn't put butter or salt or anything. I'll do that later in my meals. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, the first batch of rice is done. I empty this into a bowl and I'll get another batch going to rice. That way once the chicken's ready, the rice is ready and I'm gonna show you my favorite trick for vegetables. Okay, chicken's pretty much done. So I'm gonna take my first batch of rice and I'll just start getting my containers ready. So one cup of rice per container. I will put butter, I'll put a teaspoon of butter in each meal after so it's not <clears throat> bland. So there we go. Oh 
I'll need uh, I'll need just a little bit more. <clears throat> I just want to talk about these containers real quick. These are just Rubbermaid containers. You get them uh, three for three dollars at Walmart. I really like these. They're just a one compartment. You can also get these. They're two compartments. I thought these would be better, but I hate them. I don't know why, but I, I think the separator makes a big difference. I have them, so I'm going to use them. I only have seven right now, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so chicken's done. I just want to show you what it looks like. It's nothing special. It's nice and plain. So show you what I do with that next. Okay, I have the chicken out. Because I'm going to be putting them in, in uh, plastic containers, I don't want to have to be cutting them with a knife. It wrecks the plastic containers. So I just take them, I put them in a bowl because they're still really hot. And I cut them with scissors. Oh, Lucy's coming to visit. Sorry, none for you. Oh, look at that. That's how tender it is. I'm going through three chicken breasts right there. There. Here's a little trick. I use a scale. I know I said I measured it before and I was going to split it into eight. Um, it should be about eight. Cooked chicken is 20% less. Is it 20 or 25? Anyway, 6.5 ounces of cooked chicken equals approximately eight ounces of raw chicken. So I use my scale, I put it to ounces, and I use the tear value, which resets it to zero. And as I take chicken out, it'll start to add up my ounces. So I'm going to go to 6.5. And Lucy's hoping that I drop something on the ground, which happens. And then it'll tell it'll tell me how accurate my, my calculations are too. I should be I should be able to make about eight. Oh, here they. There she got a little piece. Okay, so I went wrong somewhere in my calculations. Um, for some reason, I thought I had 67.2 ounces, but I actually have 147 uh, ounces. So theoretically, I should be able to make 18 meals, which seems a little excessive, but I'm just gonna keep putting six and a half ounces in these and see how many I end up with. Hello. There. And I'm just gonna sp split the rest. Okay, so for a teaspoon, I always just grab a little cheap teaspoon of butter and I just put one in each. My hands are clean. So all this is added up in uh, my fitness pal. So I don't have to, you know, when I have one of these, I have it as, I call these my, oh, there's some butter for the dog. I call these my CRBs, chicken, rice, broccoli. And you'll see I mix up what I put for veggies, but I still call it chicken, rice, broccoli because vegetables, unless maybe peas, sometimes are a bit higher in calories or like edamame or something like that. But most vegetables, the calories are insignificant. So they're just there as filler and because they're healthy. There. My wife's going to be happy. I destroyed the butter. That's fine. There, all right, now for the veggies. Okay, so I was way off on my calculations. I got mixed up in grams and kilograms. Anyways, uh, I ended up, I had 2.8 pounds, I think. Anyway, 12 meals with, of eight ounces worth of chicken. So I have them all here. I have my rice. And now for the vegetables. And here's the, the best trick that I have for your vegetables, for meals that you're gonna freeze anyways. Just buy the frozen vegetables and then just dump them in. They're gonna cook when you microwave it anyways. So it saves a lot of time. And I usually like to mix it up. 
and I'll just fill as much as I can. As long as I can close the lid, I just fill the rest with vegetables. So I got Brussels sprouts, these are my favorite. Do a bunch like that. Say I use the whole bag. You know how much time that saves? Then I think I'll go to have some green beans that are open. So I'll do a bunch of those. I also like peas, just frozen peas. I find they're great in these meals. Fill it up because you want to be full, right? Like, see this one, uh, the br Brussels sprouts want to fold? I'll just top it off with whatever. Then I got a, a mix bag. You can get these on sale too. They go on sale if you're in Canada, Giant Tiger, uh, Foodland. There. There's one more bag done. Now I have some in every container. But like I said, I really, really fill it up with vegetables. You gotta eat your vegetables. If you want to lose weight, you get to fill up, you got all the fiber, the nutrition. Fill these right up. And I'll just throw these in my lunch bag. And I won't even put it in the fridge because you want your vegetables to thaw out a little bit before lunchtime because for some reason, especially uh, broccoli, which I don't have broccoli, usually I have broccoli. Broccoli doesn't tend to cook as much as everything else, so it's always a little colder inside. Brussels sprouts too, I guess. But yeah, that's it. So it is five o'clock. I didn't put any salt or pepper. I usually carry that in my uh, lunch can. For spices, <clears throat> I forgot to put it in the chicken. I know I talked about it. I usually put uh, just garlic plus and roasted garlic pepper. What I'll do is I'll put it in a little container depending on that day what I'm feeling like. Uh, sauces like this, like this is barbecue chicken jerk. Uh, for four tablespoons, it's 90 calories. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo, zero calories, I believe. Yeah, zero calories. So, I'll, you know, some days I'll, I'll do this. It'll be lower calories. And some days I'll, I'll have maybe 100 calories worth of sauce. But you know what? It mixes it up. And these are about 663, I think, in calories. And 30 to 40 grams of protein. So adding an extra 100 calories for sauce or 90 calories, whatnot, for like honey garlic or barbecue sauce, you know, try to pick some that are lower calories. But it's really not that bad. And yeah, like I said, it's 5 o'clock right now. I'm done, I'm just gonna snap the lids on, throw these in the freezer. Yes, it's two hours, but total time really spent in the kitchen was maybe a half hour, 40 minutes. I was doing uh, some renovations. I was working around the house while everything was cooking. And then of course, I'm gonna have some dishes to do, but it's not that bad. You know, now I know that I'm, I'm safe for a few days. Um, I won't have one of these every day. If, we, if, if my wife makes supper, if I make a supper, Sometimes I'll grab and I'll make more meals out of the supper leftovers and just throw them in. So sometimes I only have to do this once a month. Keep it simple. Easiest way to lose weight, be prepared. If you like the video, make sure you click the like button. I'm gonna do some more meal prep videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Hey Lula, good girl.